Hi, my name is Lillager Hatem. I'm a junior at Washington Martin Public Charter School, and today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite lines from Shakespeare, uh, which are from a play we read last year in my English class, The Tempest. Uh, so here's some brief background. It takes place on this magical island with a magical king named Prospero. Prospero's daughter has just gotten engaged to Duke Ferdinand, and in celebration of this, Prospero has all the spirits of the island uh, perform a little play for the newlywed couple. Uh, they're all enjoying this play, watching it, and suddenly Prospero remembers a murder attempt on his life. Uh, very intertwining, confusing plots, and so Prospero calls off the play and delivers this monologue, part of which I will read to you now, uh, line 165. So, our revels now are ended. These actors, as I foretold you, were all spirits and are melted into air, into thin air. And like the baseless fabric of this vision, the cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, the great globe itself, ye, all which it inherit, shall dissolve, and like this insubstantial pageant faded, leave not a rack behind. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. Uh, so when I first read this, I was confused. I was like, wow, that's a really random place to put a monologue. Then we talked about it in my English class, and basically what Prospero and Shakespeare is saying is that life is finite, everything around you is finite, and that can be interpreted negatively, like everything you love, everything you care about and you stand for will be gone one day, uh, but you can also interpret it positively, as I do, which is uh, that every bad, stupid thing that you or anyone has ever done will end one day, it will all be over, none of it matters. Um, and more importantly, that the only thing that's guaranteed to you is the present, right now. So you should make the most of that. Um, it's also really interesting because this was the last play Shakespeare wrote by himself, but it's also a metaphor for his career. Uh, so many things going on here. Thanks for listening. Bye.